Open blinded eyes, set the path, it is free. And that little light blowing out of me, stir up a well within my soul. Stir up a well and make me whole. Oh, and that little light blowing out of me. And that little light blowing out of me. You're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy. You're worthy to be praised. You're worthy to be honored. I thank and praise God for everyone tuning us in on today, tonight, whenever you're viewing us. Thank and praise God for another chance, an opportunity to give God thanks, to give him praise in the house. You're tuning in, and we thank God for you from the Deliverance Press in the church, where we conveniently located at 7223 South Ashton Avenue, Chicago, Illinois. Our zip code is 60636, and our phone number is 708-715. 3672, again, 708-715-3672. I'm Evangelist Lorraine Bowman. I'm my verified pastor, companion is Pastor Connie Bowman, Deliverance Press of the Church. If you desire prayer or want to call us for prayer, you feel free to give us a call. We'll pray, we'll labor with you. Come by the church and visit us. Our order services are as follows. We have Monday night prayer service starts at 7 o'clock p.m. Our Wednesday night prayer and Bible class starts at 7 o'clock p.m. Friday, our service starts at 7.30 p.m. And Sunday school starts at 9.30 a.m. And morning worship starts at 11.15. Come by and be with us. And, and, and I'm telling you, because the joy of the Lord is coming, flows into the house. We thank God for being a place of prayer, a place of deliverance. For those that have needs, that have needs that they, they just don't know which way to do it. In the time of the, at the time of the days that we're living now, people are in distress and it lands. The Bible says in the last days, perilous times shall come. These are perilous times. These are dangerous times. You don't know what to do. It's time to look to the hills for the come of your help, knowing that all of your help comes from the Lord. As you look to the Lord, amen, God is able to fix it. He's able to deliver. He's able to bring you out. He's able to strengthen you in this time. Like this. We need to draw nigh to God because it's coming it's so soon. At this time, we're going to offer a prayer and scripture, amen, by a uh, uh, very own uh, Sister Shante Evans, and she said, Amen. She come. God bless her in Jesus' name. God bless you, Sister Shante. Bless her. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Our scripture is going to come from Psalms 121. I'm going to read verses 1 and 2. I will lift up my eyes into the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. As Adventures Roman was saying, when you don't know where to go and don't know what to do, God is our help. He's telling us to lift up your eyes because he says, I will. If mama or sister don't, I will lift up my eyes to the hills when some I help. We're going to pray now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for another day that you allowed us to see. Thank you for waking us up this morning and closing our right mind. We thank you for grace and mercy that you gave us today, God. We ask that you would forgive us, oh God. Forgive us for what we said and done that wasn't pleasing in your sight. God, wash us in your blood. Creating us a clean heart, oh God. Renew a right spirit in us, God. Lord, I ask that you would touch each and every one, God. That's viewing the telecast right now. Touch their hearts and their minds, oh God. Stir them up in the inner man, God. We know what to do and how to do, God. We see every need, oh God. We see every desire and every concern. Meet them, oh God. Wherever they sit, stand, or lay, God. Let your presence, oh God, saturate the atmosphere, God. Let your anointing right now. Destroy every yoke and loose every bondage, oh God. Give them a mind and a heart to seek you, God. A mind and a heart to cry out to you, God. God, you're able to do it exceedingly and abundantly. Above all who can ask a thing. That one that they feel alone right now. That one that wants to take their life, God. I ask that the power of God will speak life to them right now. Binding the enemy's plan and purpose to kill, steal, and destroy. I call the blood of Jesus to cover their minds and their hearts. The blood of Jesus or every thought, oh God. Bring that subject and captive to the word of God. We thank the Lord that Jesus came that we might have life. And that more abundantly. You God yourself, whosoever will, let him come. God, in the name of Jesus, send your word out tonight, God. As the speakers go forth, oh God. Let your anointing be on the lips, oh God. Let the flesh sit down, God. 
and let your Holy Ghost power stand up in the name of Jesus. Let no one be the same tonight, God. Put a hook in the souls of your people, God. Shake them till they can't go by. They won't go by. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for being a loving God. Thank you for being a husband. For being all loving God. Amen. Glory to 
God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. See, a thorn will prick, amen. Will you let us see, God? Thorns are sharp, amen. Glory to God. They'll cut you, amen. Glory to God. Will you let us see, God? Sometimes, amen, it'll cut, amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. But when God begins to cut, He wants to remove some things, huh? Will you let us see, God? He wants to remove some things off of you, glory to God. He wants to remove some things out of you, glory to God. Will you let us see, God? So He allows you to get cut, amen, glory to God. So as I was quickly trying to put him in the face, amen, and put the food in him, I, I put the, 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 the roses in there before I put the food in. So that meant I had to get cut again or stuck again because I had to remove them out to get the food in it, glory to God. But the more, hallelujah, I just kept looking. I said, these are beautiful roses. Huh? So through the cup, huh? God will make us beautiful. Huh? God will make us perfect in him, amen, glory to God. Huh? See, thorns, I mean, as I said, they hurt, amen, glory to God. Hallelujah, glory to God. And so when we have been hurt, amen, in the Lord, amen, glory to God. When we've been hurt, just in the natural, amen, glory to God. God said, I'll heal the hurt, amen, glory to God. Hallelujah, he's a healer, amen, glory to God. He is the only one that can heal us, glory to God. Hallelujah, he said, I'll heal, glory to God. Hallelujah, whatever you've gone through, huh? Hallelujah, whatever the circumstances are, whether it's in your marriage, on the job, glory to God. Hallelujah, with your children, amen. In the community, family members, your mother, your father, every disappointment, God said, I'll heal it, glory to God. I'll heal, glory to God. And I thought about the thorn. Thorns go deep, amen, glory to God. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. If you get stuck, if you fully touch it, amen, it'll go deep, amen, glory to God. And sometimes we got to be careful, amen, that we don't allow the hurts to go deep in us, glory to God. That it damage us, amen, glory to God. Hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah, they'll damage us, amen. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. We don't want to be damaged by things and stuff, amen. And that's what we need to ask God. God, remove it, huh? Remove the hurts, amen, glory to God. But those roses are sitting on the counter and they're beautiful, huh? So the end results, amen, glory to God. It's a beautiful thing, amen, glory to God. When we allow God to work in us, glory to God. Hallelujah, glory to God. Thank you, Lord God. I thought about David. Amen. Glory to God. We're still talking about living with a thorn. Amen. Glory to God. When we live with a thorn. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Living with a thorn. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We can do it. Amen. Turn to 1 Samuel in the 18th chapter. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Living with a thorn. Ask yourself. Amen. Am I living with a thorn? Huh? And if you answer yes, glory to God. Huh? God is saying tonight, amen, huh? I come to heal tonight, huh? I come to deliver, amen, glory to God, huh? I come to set you free, glory to God, hallelujah, glory to God, huh? You don't have to live with it, huh? Hallelujah, not, not in hurt, amen, glory to God, huh? Hallelujah, but let it be a constant reminder, huh, that God brought you out, huh? And that he's bringing you out, amen, glory to God. Thank you, Lord God, huh? In 1 Samuel, huh, in the 18th chapter, Starting at the 10th verse, glory to God. Amen, I'm going to read 10 and 11, and it says, And it came to pass on the morrow that the evil spirit from God came upon Saul, and he prophesied in the midst of the house, and they played with his hand, as at other times, and there was a javelin in Saul's hands. And Saul cast the javelin from his, from he said, for he said, I will smite David even to the wall with it. And David avoided out of his presence twice. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. David be, and Saul began to seek, amen, to destroy David. Amen. Glory to God. And that's what the enemy would do with us. Amen. He'll begin to seek to destroy us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But the Bible says that David escaped twice. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. And in the 12th verse, amen, it says, And Saul was afraid of David because the Lord was with him and was departed from Saul, amen. See, glory to God, huh? when, when, when God is with us, 
<laughs> Man can't do nothing. Hallelujah. Glory to God. When God is with us, glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible said that Saul feared David. Amen. Glory to God. He was afraid of David because he knew that God was on his side. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And guess what? The enemy knows that we serve the Lord. Amen. The enemy desires that we crack. Amen. Glory to God. But God said, not so. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He said, stand strong in me. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In the 13th verse, it says, therefore, Saul removed him from him and made him his captain over a thousand. And he went out and came in before the people. And David behaved himself wisely in all his ways. And the Lord was with him. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Now, this was the scripture that really blessed me, mother. Amen. Glory to God. It blessed me because, amen. Hallelujah. When you go through, amen, there's always promotion. Amen. Glory to God. There was promotion. Amen. And guess what it said? Saul made him. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But see, you know what? When God promotes us, amen, we have to know how to behave ourselves wisely. Glory to God. And, and even though David knew that Saul hated him or he disliked him, amen, hallelujah, but he never went after him, amen, glory to God. He behaved himself wisely with him, glory to God. Hallelujah, amen, glory to God. See, we don't have to worry about man trying to block our positions, amen. Thank you, Lord God. We don't have to worry about how, what they're doing on the job and how they're trying to stop you, amen, glory to God. See, because what's for you is for you, amen, glory to God. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. See, when people try to think that they're stopping your progress, amen, they cannot stop the progress of God. They cannot stop the move, amen, glory to God. We and we only can stop ourselves, amen. We can allow man to get in the way, amen. We can make excuses and say, well, they did this, and well, amen, they didn't like me, and well, the teacher was mean to me, amen. But God is saying not so, amen, huh? Hallelujah, if there is a position for you, amen, glory to God, you don't have to worry, amen. God will equip you for the position, glory to God. He will make you ready for it, amen, glory to God. Hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah, you don't have to worry about what man is trying to do, amen. Just obey God. Do his will, amen, glory to God. Hallelujah, in the 15th verse. Amen, where it says, wherefore, when Saul saw that he behaved himself very wisely, he was afraid of him, glory to God. But all Israel and Judah loved David, but he went out and came in before them, glory to God. Hallelujah, glory to God. Don't you know, amen, that the enemy desires to shake us up. He likes to, amen, he wants to, he tries to get us off our course, amen. He tries to shake us up, amen. See, people do things, amen. They'll do stuff on the job, amen. They'll say stuff, amen, because they want you to retaliate, glory to God. Hallelujah, but God's people is not a people of retaliation, amen. God, the Bible says that vengeance belongs to me, amen, glory to God. Hallelujah, all we got to do is allow God to fight our battles for us, amen, glory to God. Hallelujah, he'll fight, a, he'll fight it, glory to God. He'll make a way, amen, glory to God. We just have to be obedient, amen, to the Lord, amen, glory to God. Hallelujah, so behave yourself wisely. Don't allow, and you know what, Saul couldn't understand why David would re re retaliate, amen. And that's how man is today. Glory to God, they're waiting for you to mess up, huh? They're waiting to say, huh? I thought she was saved. I thought he was saved, amen. But the devil is a liar. They want to assassinate God's character. It's not really you. It's one of, They want to say, well, I thought they had Christ, amen. Glory to God. I do have Christ, amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That's why I have the love, hallelujah, of Christ in me, amen. Glory to God. And because the love of Christ, it makes us restrain ourselves, amen. Glory to God. When we desire, amen, to get ugly and to, 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 uh, to do things that is not the will of God, amen, glory to God. And because of this, Saul was obsessed with uh, destroying David, amen. Uh, and we have to be careful that we are not those people, amen. That we become 
obsessed and to destroy, amen, glory to God. Someone else, amen, glory to God, hallelujah, glory to God. But because of who David was and because the love that he had for the Lord, amen, glory to God. Hallelujah, when he could have retaliated on him, glory to God. Hallelujah, he let so know, amen, glory to God. I could have gotten even with you, huh? But I won't, amen, glory to God, huh? Because the Lord said, amen, glory to God, that you were, huh, his anointed, amen, glory to God. Hallelujah, glory to God. Huh? So living with the thorn, amen, even when you're buffered, amen, huh? Even when the enemy comes at us, glory to God, huh? Hallelujah, glory to God. Even when they stirring up the pot, amen, huh? God says, hallelujah, let all us see God, huh? Hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah, you don't have to fall, amen. You don't have to fail, amen, glory to God. I have put something in you, glory to God. I have put up a standard in you, glory to God, to stand, amen, glory to God. And I was thinking about the power, yes, God. I touched it a little early, the authority that God has given us, amen. He's given us authority, amen, glory to God. Hallelujah, glory to God. Sometimes you just might have to stop wherever you at. Amen. And say, hallelujah. You let up a see her. Say, enough is enough. You let up a Enough is enough, enough, is enough Satan. Huh? Not today. Huh? I will not have it. Glory to God. Huh? Hallelujah. You shall not have my kids. Huh? Glory to God. Huh? Hallelujah. You got to get mad enough, angry enough at the devil. Amen. To take a stand. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Prayer is very important. It's important that we pray. It's important that we know who we're praying to and what we're praying for. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Prayer is our key communication. Hallelujah. If you want to say ingredient, it's our key ingredient to our salvation. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's our communication line unto the Lord, our Savior. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And the Bible tells us the effectual and firm prayers of the righteous. Huh? A bell and much. Amen. Huh? And we have to continue. Continue. Continue to pray. Amen. Pray without ceasing. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And guess what? While we're praying. Amen. We can still bless the Lord. Amen. Huh? We can just. We can still come in here. Glory to God. We can still praise the Lord. Huh? We can still give God the glory. Hallelujah. We can still count it all joy. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And then we might have to be like David. Huh? The Bible says, amen, glory to God. And Saul, uh, 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 is it 1 Samuel, amen, the, uh, the 30th chapter and the 6th verse, amen. Hallelujah. When they desired, amen, to kill him, amen, glory to God, because of uh, what had happened, amen, glory to God. But David had to encourage himself. Huh? And sometimes, huh? Oh, you know about, oh. Hallelujah, glory to God. You have to encourage yourself, amen, glory to God. You got to stand strong, amen, glory to God. Encourage yourself, glory to God. Say, I am, yes, God. I can, yes, God. I will, amen, glory to God. I shall, amen, glory to God. Hallelujah, glory to God. Glory to God. So while you're living with the thorn, huh? Begin to say the Lord, say, God, huh? what is thy will, huh? What is your will concerning my life, amen, huh? What is your will, amen, glory to God? What do you desire that I do, amen, glory to God? Which way do I go, amen, glory to God? Huh? Hallelujah, glory to God, huh? Hallelujah, glory to God, huh? Everything that we're going through, huh? Hallelujah, it's for our good, huh? And the Bible says in Romans 8 and 28, huh? As we know, glory to God, huh? That all things uh, work for the good to them that love God. Uh, to them who are the call uh, according to his purpose. Amen. So whatever you're going through on today, uh, it's for your purpose. It's for God's purpose. Amen. Uh, it's for your good. Amen. Uh, it's for your good. Amen. Uh, every tear that you shed it, uh, it's been for your good. Amen. Glory to God. Uh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Uh, every disappointment, uh, it's been for your good. Amen. Glory to God. Uh, Hallelujah, glory to God. Huh? This battle is not ours. Huh? This battle huh, belongs to the Lord. Amen. Huh? So while you're living with the thorn, amen. Huh? While you're living with the scar, amen. Glory to God. Huh? While you're living with the limp, amen. Glory to God. Huh? Let it be a constant reminder, amen. Glory to God. Huh? Of who he is. Huh? And what he is. Huh? And 
and what he has said to you. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. What he's going to do. How he's going to bring you out. Amen. Because he's worthy. God is worthy. Glory to God. God is worthy. God is worthy. Yes, God. He's worthy. Yes, God. He's worthy. He's worthy. Yes, God. He's worthy of the praise. Yes, God. He's worthy. Glory to God. He said you can live with the thorn. Glory to God. You can live with it. Amen. Hallelujah. Because he said my grace. My grace is sufficient. Amen. Hallelujah. I God. His grace is sufficient. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He has equipped us for everything. Glory to God. God will renew us. Amen. He will renew us. He'll renew us. Glory to God. Turn to Isaiah. The 40th chapter. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. He will renew us. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says in Isaiah 40, in the 28th verse, amen, it says, Has thou not known, glory to God, hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah, that's a question, amen, the ignorance of God, amen, glory to God. See, some people are ignorant, glory to God, they don't know who God is, glory to God, hallelujah, glory to God. Has thou not known, glory to God? Because see, if we know who he really is, glory to God, we, be, we would not be acting a fool, amen. Huh? Hallelujah. If we know who he really is, glory to God, we would serve the Lord with gladness. Huh? If we knew who he really is, huh? we would be running, huh? and there would be peace in the land. Huh? God, huh? Bahaya, God. Huh? Do you know him? Do you know a man named Jesus? If you just tuned in, glory to God, there is a man named Jesus. Hallelujah. He saves. Hallelujah. He paid the ultimate price, glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. So when it says, has thou not known him? Has thou not heard? Glory to God. Think about it, hallelujah. When, when, you know, back in your time, girl, have you heard? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Have you heard? Glory to God. Did you know, did you know who that is? Amen. Glory to God. But let me, let me say it loud today. Glory to God. 